What's up Amazon sellers? I've been selling on Amazon for five straight years now, growing my Amazon business to seven figures and it's not been easy. In this video today, I'm going to share with you the three fundamental things I check in my Amazon business to make sure that I'm managing my business and it's running correctly. If you want to know what they are, stay tuned. Right, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I've been selling on Amazon now doing online arbitrage for the last five years. Now in the UK, I'm a seven figure Amazon seller, check this out. And in the USA, I'm a six figure Amazon seller, check this out. Now hopefully in the near future, we're gonna expand into another marketplace. And if you're learning about what I'm doing, how I'm doing it and what I'm learning, then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Let's get started. So first things first, number one, why is it important to have or understand business fundamentals? Now, just like she say other types of businesses, starting and growing a business requires you to check and observe certain things that are gonna be very fundamental within your business. Now, in my case, I've been growing my Amazon business for the last five years, and I went through lots of, she say, pain, losses and even problems which have made me think about the things which I need to be checking properly to ensure that my business is on the right direction and I'm forecasting correctly. Now it takes a lot of should say, observations and experiences for you to develop the things which you are going to need to observe the fundamentals within your business. Now in my case there have been time when I've realized that I need to know should say know my numbers and also understand my business better. You say that experience has given me losses whereby obviously I didn't know them. You might be asking what are the things that I'm checking within my Amazon business and what I'll say is before I say them now I'll go into them in detail in the second chapter but basically there are three things that I'm looking at. First things first number one is going to be the cash in my Amazon business. Number two I'm going to be looking at my resources so that's you know, people time money. So lastly I'm going to be looking at my own time as in me. Now I always check we say these three fundamentals to understand where my business is at and also do forecasting where my business is going and obviously the constraints within it. Now you might be asking how do I do forecasting within my Amazon business and let's should we say using these three fundamentals let's go through that now and actually explain to you what they are and how I do them. Okay guys so today I'm talking about three fundamentals within my Amazon business and I'm interested to know what you're checking as the fundamentals in your business. Maybe there's something you look at that I don't know that I need to do. Let me know in the comments down below what are you checking? What are the fundamentals to your business? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so this leads me nicely onto my second chapter. What are my actual three fundamentals that I check in my Amazon business? Now, these fundamentals are things that I'm going to share with you, which are based on my experience within my Amazon type of business, which I've been doing, which is Amazon online arbitrage, obviously through the FBA program. Now, again, these things might be applicable to your business or they might not be. So just keep that in mind as we go through. So number one is cash. Now, basically I'm looking at cash within my business. And in particular, what I'm really looking at is how much cash I have available to invest this week. So I'm checking it weekly. Now, for me, if you think about it, any business we're doing right now is a trading business or any business we do, cash is king. Having cash to invest in stock is super important. And also as well, trading businesses eat cash. So so measuring the amount of cash I have available to spend every single week is super important because it understands me if that, should say, the amount of cash is going up or if it's going down. And if I can see the trend of it, then I can take corrective action or preemptive action before it becomes too much of a problem. So you might be asking, like, what are the things that I do with it? Well, there are two situations that generally happen, and I'll go through them now. Number one, I have too much cash. Now, in my business, when I have, should say, too much cash available or the amount of cash I have available every single week is going up over time, then I'll look for ways to grow my Amazon business by investing that cash. Now, for example, let's say, for example, I have £5,000 this month and then next month, you know, I'm looking at it and I think, but the rate we're going, I might have seven and a half, maybe even £10,000 spare. With this amount of money spare, I might now think about, hey, I need to hire some more team members, more virtual assistants, that they can source deals for me and obviously purchase stock by investing that cash into the deals that they're finding. So now I understand that because my available cash is trending up, it might be worth hiring another member of staff so I can invest that. Now, the other alternative is maybe the cash is going down. Maybe I can see the cash is in decline. Now, there might be cases whereby the cash in my Amazon business is trending down. If this happens, I might need to look for ways, should we say, to buck the trend to change it. If I continue the current situation by having less and less cash available every single week, eventually I'm going to run out of cash and that might lead me to default on my debts and eventually 
may lead to bankruptcy. Certainly something I don't want to do in my Amazon business. Now, basically, I need to look for ways to get more cash or more cash flow available within my business, obviously to offset, should we say, the business problems. Now, quite simply, I'm going to be looking at maybe turning my stock faster, maybe clearing down some old stock, or maybe if I understand it's just a short period of time that right now we are holding stock because maybe that's our strategy, I might even look at things like getting loans or credit cards to help me have more available cash to help cash flow my business or even adjusting my cash flow sheet to obviously help facilitate more cash within my business. Now, by doing, to say, one or even all of these measures, I can increase the amount of cash available within my business and obviously continue to grow and obviously manage my cash flow correctly. Now, if you are interested in learning more about cash flow and how I do it within my business, obviously in this trading model within Amazon, what I'll do is I'll drop a video up here called How to Manage Your Cash Flow, which features the cash flow sheet that I talked about. And obviously I use that every single week within my business to help me manage cash flow. Now, the second fundamental I'm looking at in my business is called resources. Now, there are lots of resources, should we say, within my Amazon business, but the main resource I care for or that I have within my business are my employees who are working for the Amazon business and the systems that we use and the tools and software that we have. Basically, what we're doing is we're trying to make sure that the number of employees we have or the age, should we say, my Amazon business and the tools and software that they have use are proportional to growing my business and offer getting the results that I'm looking for. Now, of course, software is super important and you say virtual assistants are also important, but also as well, there are expenses as well in my Amazon business, which I have to consider. So I have to make sure that they add value to the business or else they might just be unnecessary expenses, which can eat up, should say, the revenue and ultimately the profits of the Amazon business. Now, the one thing about resources is say, for example, they are people, people who do, should say, tasks within your business and that allow your business to sustain and grow. Now, the software allows them to do that faster, but what's really interesting is there is a limit to the amount of work they can do. For example, I couldn't go hire a million staff members tomorrow. I just wouldn't have the cash to do it. So when we're talking about resources in regards to team members, what I'm really looking at is understanding how my, should say, team members are utilizing the resources and cash Point number one within my business. And if I'm, should say, running out, then obviously, or say, if I'm getting too much, like I talked about earlier, I am increasing the amount of cash every week. Then obviously, I want to increase my resources to spend that cash, which is probably going to be team, or maybe look at making them more efficient with software, or maybe if we're losing money and we're not as profitable as we were, and now we can't be as efficient, maybe I might have to reduce that. But it's certainly something that I'm not looking at but it is something that I need to manage within my business. Now, if you want to know more about virtual assistants and how much value they can add, what I'll do is I'll leave a video up here about how they can add value to your business. Check that out. Now, the one thing I'll say is I talked about VAs and how much value they add, but also speeding up VAs. And how do we do that? Well, we do it with the software and we do it with tools. And if you want to know what tools we use within our own Amazon business, I'll drop a link down below to all the tools that I'm currently using and you can check them out using the link down below. Check it out. Now, the third fundamental that I'm looking at is pretty much my time. That is everything I'm doing. Now, this is probably one of the most important aspects in, as you say, my Amazon business. I hate to say it, you know, it's my time. Basically, I'm the driver of my Amazon business. And with this, I need to always be looking for ways to grow, as you say, my Amazon business. And with all its different varying aspects and obviously problems and complexities. Now, with this in mind, I need to protect my time and use it as efficiently as possible and to forecast you know, how I can spend it wisely to grow my Amazon business. Now, there are two things that can happen happen in my time for me to, should we say, grow my Amazon business. Number one is I have too little time. When we see that I have too little time, generally I'm feeling stressed. Maybe I just have sleepless nights. I'm not getting enough sleep. I'm not being able to think coherently. I'm just focusing on like the right now. I can't think big picture strategy. Now for me, when I have too little time, that is a problem and that is something that I need to address. So how would I do it? For me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at those tasks, the jobs that I'm doing, and I'm going to outsource them. Basically, I might hire staff who, you know, an expert in that task, you know, like a VA, train them up, source them, and make sure that they're doing a really great job after a couple of months of working, and they'll start adding value and obviously reducing time off me. Or maybe I might, she say, look for other opportunities to free up my time. You know, for example, it might be the case that if I'm doing prep, I'd outsource the prep to a prep center or using additional services that can help out as well. For me, what I'm really looking at is to make sure that I'm managing my time efficiently and I'm not getting burnt out and I'm getting enough rest and I'm able to think clearly and concisely within the business to allow the business to function. Because my God, if I stop working, 
pretty much the business will fail soon thereafter. And I'm the biggest liability within my business. Also, it's greatest asset at times, but also a liability. Now, the second one might be that I have too much time. Now, when she say that is the case, what am I going to do? Well, for me, it's about, she say, looking at spending that time, improving efficiencies within the business, you know, over a fixed period of time. For example, maybe we can work on, I don't know, speeding up repricing through automations, or maybe speed up the deal analysis process, working with my sourcing VAs to say, can we turn it down from one minute per deal analysis down to 30 seconds? That's going to really compound over the course of the business or maybe even improving workflows. For me, quite simply, when I have so much time available, I'm now looking at ways how I can spend that time efficiently. And that is going to be process improvements, people improvements, and also education improvements. And for me, educating myself and meeting other people through networking is super, super important. So now to give you a recap, the three fundamental things that I'm always looking at and I'm always looking in my head and on my business and how we're managing is quite simply, number one, cash and it's available cash every single week because I'm managing cash flow. Number two are my resources and that's generally going to be my people and what they are doing within the business and how do I measure that? Well, that is basically going to be how well we are spending that cash flow every single week. Then finally, number three is going to be my time, how much time I have available, too much or too little. I'm going to be really questioning how I'm actually spending my time because my God, we all only have 24 hours in the day. Now, I can always juggle these three things before you know, making any decisions. And sometimes I might be working a lot and sometimes, hey, I might not be in, you know, to affect my Amazon business. But by managing these three fundamentals, I can make sure that I'm making the best decision for my Amazon business to keep it safe and also to grow it efficiently as possible. Now, I'm talking today about three fundamentals of my Amazon business. Now, if you're like me, and I talked about it, number three is my time. And if maybe you're an individual and it's just you and you don't have a team yet, and my gosh, you know, you're busy, how can you save time? How can you become more efficient? Well, I did talk about outsourcing, maybe using other services. And the one thing which I really understand from obviously running my business, finding deals, that's the hardest part of running any Amazon business. Now, if you're interested looking for online arbitrage deals, then do look at Fast Track FBA Leads. This is a service I created whereby we've got a team in the USA and the UK sourcing for deals. And what they do, they put all of them into our Fast Track FBA web platform. And what you do is you come in, you buy tokens, you review every single deal, the price now, the 90 day profits, the current profits, the sales rank, all the information about the deal. And when you found the deal that you like, you exchange those tokens for the deal itself, unlock it, get access to the Amazon ASIN and the support Supply URL, buy low, resell high for a profit, rinse and repeat. That is the fundamental part of the Amazon game, and you can speed it up by checking out Fast Track FBA leads. If you want to know more, have a look at the link down below. Now, this leads me nicely on some personal advice about how to do should they forecasting with business fundamentals within your Amazon business. Now, you might be asking, how did I come up with my own fundamentals and how do I should say, use them to help grow my Amazon business? Well, here's my advice. You know, if you follow me, it's been five years and even in the last you know, 12 months, we've done 3 million. It has been a real challenge. And as I look at, you know, if you say 50, 60 different KPIs across my whole business or different key performance indicators or metrics, I'm I'm always coming up to three fundamentals. How much cash do we have to invest? Can I get more? Once we've got more, how are we utilizing that cash? And pretty much that's my resources and generally my team. And are we buying more or are we making them more efficient? And then finally, my time. And the one thing I really understand now, especially about my time, is about getting to say expert advice, learning from other people. Hence why I do this YouTube channel, hence why I meet people and obviously share my journey as well. Sharing what I'm learning, solidifying that knowledge and sharing what I'm learning from other people as well. And in turn, I help that with you, but also as well, I help it with me and also I improve my Amazon business. But that has come from a point of pain, from a point of like, how are we doing it? What are we doing? Where's the challenges? So for you, the one thing I'd really say, and if, if you want to look at this as well, maybe develop your own fundamentals or improve upon the ones I've done, I'd really say at the end of every day, maybe every end of the week, reflect on what's happened over the course of that day, that week, and just think about, hmm, what's been the real problem? Over the course of time, you're going to start to really drill it down into, should you say, the fundamentals of what really impacts your business. Now, your business might be different to mine. You might be doing a slightly different model, but it is going to help you in understanding what are the core drivers within your business. And pretty much in any trading business, it's going to be cash, resources, people, and then obviously time, and you as a leader of it. And manage them correctly, and you're going to be growing at the optimal rate. 
Now, what I will say is that checking your business for the fundamentals is super, super important, but also as well, there are things in your Amazon business that you're gonna to need to check daily, weekly, you know, and even monthly and even quarterly as well. And what I'll do is I'll leave a video around here on what are the things I'm checking in my Amazon business, and you can see that as well, and obviously helps you out in your own Amazon business. Check out that video. Now, hopefully you've liked this video. If you have, give me a big thumbs up. And hey, if you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button down below. But for myself, Thomas Parkinson and Fast Trick FBA, Thank you very much.